Let's knock the button. That's also not the button! We got him, Leviosa. Uh, I guess you go here. Um, what about you? I just hit it? Okay. There's one there. And there's one there. I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple more rune symbols. You think? Okay, so there's more that we need to uncover. What is this? Confringo. I'm not sure what I did to deserve that. I did nothing to you! Oh, there we go. Do anything. Okay, so why won't you? I guess I can still hit you? No. Jeez Louise. Now Alright, so you last a long time. These rooms must be connected somehow. Try casting at them more quickly. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, what did I just do? Oh, that's... How did I do that? Wasn't expecting that. Really? What were you expecting? Oh. Oh. Is this Isadora's research? Where are we? Oh! <gasps> Hold on, what else is here before I pick that up? Oh my gosh. Another passageway. We should search the room first. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Oh. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. The world floated back to me, as if in a watery haze. How long had I been unconscious? I only remember his eyes, empty, empty of sorrow, yes, but also... I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish, but then everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head. I neither feel nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing. I can only hope it's not the Black Death. At least he's no longer in pain, so if she was going to try and heal someone... But it did something to her. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. We've got four more of her journal entries to uncover. Are we done? No? Is there more? I thought that was it. Oh, check on Sebastian. Are you okay? If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. I assume we have now, more. For the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. More canvas Unless to uncover. we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Now for the moments of truth. It has to fit. Yeah, but I assume it's only a small piece. Please tell oh. me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, mm. in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Okay. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. 
I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Oh, did he ask me not to say anything? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut I her up. I don't think Said they she did. Said she seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins. Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? Sebastian. No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? <laughs> wow. You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. Wow. Sebastian, come on. I get it, but come on. I don't, I don't, I don't think it was the goblins. Oh, I think I need to walk out of here before I get a new quest. Oh, uh, oh, okay. I was like, what? Oh, you want to go? I hope Professor Fitz... I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Yay. I don't know. He's trying to leave and not going very well. Speak to the portrait of Professor Fitzgerald in the map chamber. Oh. I can't... Oh, okay. He still can't leave. Yep, the page that I don't know where it is. Yep, 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 yep. Look at the trees! How cool is that? It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that. It's Christmas, girl! Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. <laughs> Revelia. No happy Christmas decorations in the dungeons. For you. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Ah, <sighs> most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Well, 
I was hoping we would get a little more info, but I guess not. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh. Again, have to wait for the book to update. There we go. <gasps> okay. Oh, no, wait. There we go. Hogwarts uh, map. And we're going. There's another side quest, supposedly. Oh, I actually got one. All's well that ends Bell. Upset about something. Okay. Who would have thought someone as young as me could save my uncle's life? Uncle Roland sends his best. Now that I have all my gobstones back, oh. I'm ready to take on all challenges. If I can find any. I... <sighs> Frick! Off on another adventure, are we? I wanted to talk to her, damn it! And it looked like I, I was able to talk to her, but... Struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. Why? What have I done to you? I thought I could count on my friend. Oh. Pardon me. Is everything all right? No, no, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Also, what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Oh! Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. Um, I already did that. <laughs> Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black. Is it really? Taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who <laughs> heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells... reminded him of his wedding day. Ooh. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. <laughs> If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Hmm. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower, just above the music room. I did it already! You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. Oh, don't bash her. I imagine... The bells are back up, Evangeline. <laughs> oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. Well, now we know. know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Now we know what that was about. I kind of want to go find Adelaide now, but I wasn't paying attention on my way up here, so. <laughs> I already did this. Here you go. 
Did that other side quest finally come in? Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. It's that, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Are you here for Summoner's Court? That I am. Don't expect to be as lucky here as you were in Crossed Wands. Speaking of which, care to lose... I mean, play a match? Okay. <laughs> of course, Charlotte. Then may the best summoner win. Oh, oh. What are these? Suctions? Accio! Interesting. Precisely as planned. Hmm? What about... No. What about... This thing in the middle? Give me the thing in the middle. No. Frick. Aim the middle. No. <sighs> alright, alright, alright. We can... No, because that's not safe. Okay. All right, well, Accio, the end, then. So if it gets too close, now it'll give me the We middle. expect you to grace us with a turn sometime today. I am thinking. Accio. Shit. Well, that didn't work. Such grace. Shh. <laughs> Finesse. Shush. Accio. What is with... I don't understand. Precisely as planned. Shush. No, give me the middle! <laughs> Why? Accio. Accio. Yeah, why is it... Did you just get right past them? If I can get right behind her and knock hers off. Oh, not gonna get right behind her and knock hers off. Shoot. Didn't I say I adore competition? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hard luck. Care for another round? Let's try it again. Absolutely. Don't kill me out yet. That's the spirit. So she's gonna go there. Accio. Oh, I didn't expect you to do that first try. as planned. I don't know how she pulls it directly into the corner! Such grace. <laughs> Finesse. Shush, girl. You just went right through that. Oh, knock him off! <laughs> Sting me with a billy wig. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta knock one of her balls off. Oh, and they both went down! No! <laughs> that she's allowed to change hers up. So if I... Oh! Oh! What? Did you do that on purpose? What the heck? Precisely as planned. Are you sure? <laughs> too far! Too far! Stop! Frick! Such grace. 
Oh, go backwards! Yes, go backwards! I'll remember that. Yeah! I still didn't win! Hard luck. Care for another round? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it! Oh! How dare you! I don't know that I can force it over there to knock them off. Mm, we're tied! Nice technique. Accio. Where's this one gonna end up? Don't you dare, don't you dare! Oh my god! <laughs> She's the only one that's been allowed to change her technique each, for each round. No, damn it! Such grace. <laughs> Finesse. I'm not able to like get into the corner and shove them in that direction like she is. It's not fair. Akio. Precisely as planned. Akio. A little bit more. There you go. <laughs> Sting me with a billy wig. I'll never top that. Accio. Precisely as planned. Revelia. Accio. Don't. Don't. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hmm. Nice technique. Accio. We'll pull that one over here too. Oh. Oh. Whoa. 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 Okay. Oh. Oh, she's out. Concentrate, Charlotte. Holy cow. Okay. So even if I completely Accio. flub this up. I'm okay. Oh no! Hmm, nice technique. <laughs> like, well, what happened? You are good. I mean, I don't feel like <laughs> it took me way too many tries. <laughs> I'm not too proud to admit when I've lost. Where did you learn to play like that? Fighting you. <laughs> I practice as much as I can. Practice, eh? I suppose I could try that. <laughs> well, you've only one opponent left now. I won't say more than that, but let's just say he's the best for a reason. I thought you were my top opponent. All right, when we come back, we will go handle... We'll go handle this one. Um, I'm gonna walk it just because I feel like it, but I probably... I was gonna say probably not gonna see anything, but... That's a neat little animation to put in there. Oh, you have... That... <laughs> I love it! I love it! Oh, goodness. Uh, I don't think I went the right way. Pavelio. Nope. How do I get the figs, please, please? Go this way, okay. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. Remind me who Bickle is, because I don't. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. 
Seb got anything for me? Guess not. I'm already headed this way, so might as well continue. Did I see? Okay, no. I was imagining Christmas decorations. What are you doing? You're not watching the pond, it's frozen over! Clearly! It just moved. Something moved. I don't know what it was. Hundred and forty two staircases, yeah. I was discussing that trivia question with a friend of mine the other day. We were like, how many staircases are there at Hogwarts? That's a common quiz question that <laughs> people trip up on. I say quiz question, I meant trivia question. Let me in! Professor. Hello? Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? Mm -hmm. It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. <laughs> Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Oh. Wow. Oh, he must have spelled her clothes. How do you feel? <laughs> Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring yep. your robes. Yep. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. <laughs> Oh, man. What are you going to do when you get to Hogsmeade and there's no one there to meet? Eat. Oh, dear. Can I badger the student? You there. Don't you have classes to go to? 
Where am I going? Oh yeah. Uh, Madam Kagawa. Uh, help. Help. Yeah, that still works. Oh no! Professor, a moment of your time. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Um... I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. <laughs> I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. Oh my a god. Student. Very well, sir, if you insist. Oh my god. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Oh. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Oh no. Oh, we're. <laughs> I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Has anyone seen my ivory handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. <laughs> oh no. What the headmaster want? Gareth. Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Ah, that's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Oh. Yes, keep walking. Don't run into me. Keep walking. <laughs> um. Well, he said the Great Hall, but we're still going to Madame Kagawa? Okay. Well, there's one for my diary. What? That I talk to you? Oh, you have a reef too. I love it. All the statues get their own reef. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. <laughs> Professor Black, how are you, sir? Oh no. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste, uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Hold on, I want to... Oh, Something wanna. is very wrong with Professor Black. Dittany and Poobatuba pass. Moustache paste? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I just want to walk down here. I just want to do it. I don't... I I believe anyone that we could possibly interact with is along the, the path, but... Oh, no one... Oh. You're not going to comment about how... Grateful you are to figure out what that portrait finally does. No, oh, I don't think anyone knows how many secret passages Hogwarts actually has. Quite a few. 
Like, I don't even think the Marauders mapped them all. Like, Stand there's... proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. <gasps> Are we going to reverse it? We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes, sir. I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Do it! Do it! Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will. Yes. And with pleasure! Yes! And I spotted <laughs> Scorpion in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Oh, we could have just reversed... What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? We could just reverse the decision, and then he you would have gotten let back. The shine on those boots. Do better. Been like, what do you mean? I didn't reverse anything. Although that would probably tip off. <gasps> I didn't notice there were dirigible plums. Wait, how long have those been there? And I walked right past them. Where am I going? Great hall. Oh. <laughs> wow. Good job. Don't fall. Oh, I would totally taunt this student as Professor Black. <laughs> it's just to see. Don't fall. Uh, oh. Oh, you've got one of those hats. Headmaster, and he's coming this way. Hi. Miss Broom. A word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Bloom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Bloom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my uh, heavy books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? That was another... Some of these conversations, I'm like, yes, you need to be rude to everybody, but some of these are weird. Some of these are just weird. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Oh, no. Professor, <laughs> a word. Please. 